I'm doing a bit more. I don't know if I was videoing a minute ago. I don't think I had it on the video section. A video I might have done at the beginning. Where I was just pointing out the size of the cemetery. How massive it is. All the newer ones are down this end. But all family names are still appearing all the time. Hi, I'm Howell. Baxendale. All I'm doing is skimming around the edges at the moment. This is going to have to... There's, there's one coming into view now, John Astley, a dearly loved husband, father and granddad who died in 2000, age 59. It's the family name though that we're looking at. The family name. But of course it could be common, just like Smith is, you know, we don't know. Oh, that's a Pothelswaite. Haythornthwaite is one of your teachers was, wasn't it? Yeah, it certainly is big. So what I do, there's another one there, Charlotte Astley. Astley. She died, she was only two days, she's 1996. And she's got a huge grave. She's got a huge grave. So the name lives on, there's a Worthington. Betty Worthington was one of the, the first husband of uh, I think it was John Hodge, um, or one of the Hodges. Here's Alan Worthington. He died the 1st of October 2059, and, and his son Carl. So the names are very common around here. You won't always find, you wouldn't find these names anywhere, you see. Some people have their name photograph put on there, usually foreign people. But there's no doubt some of your ancestors will be here. This is a massive graveyard. It's an old one. It would have been used by lots of people in the area. I'm going to go right round the edge. There's another Astley, Darren Andrew Astley Hollingworth. He died, he was only 22, he died in 1999. A lot of young blokes. That's, that's, it was the rave era, wasn't it? Ah, and boy racers, big time. A lot of them can't afford it now. And I've only got to go a couple of feet. And I come across someone, you see. Like I say, this is the newer section. With one or two old ones started about. Stop again. This is just an idea. 